Hello Team Gemini, it's Caroline here with your love reading. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. If you're new, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The energies can go either way. So if I say Gemini, I could be talking to you, Cross Watcher. Cross Watchers also, welcome. Thank you for all your support with this channel, for likes, share, subscribes, and for booking personal readings with me. I totally appreciate all the support, okay? So Gemini. So what I'm getting um, at this time, let's get into your love reading. So I feel like some of you are going through some type of emotional healing and it has to do with timing, okay? So for some of you, you're waiting for some kind of word from the other person or you're waiting for some kind of information, something like that. And um, Spirit is saying, calm down, okay? Calm down, <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if you're waiting on a word from your person or maybe you they are supposed to make some type of a decision because I do feel like a decision, um, some yeah, somebody's waiting for a decision to be made. But this is about um, the energy of anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind, okay? So I do feel like somebody is... Um, going through the motions, okay? So they're in their feelings, they're going through the motions, and this is Archangel Uriel helping with somebody going through some type of emotional healing. And at the same time, they're saying that, you know, be patient, okay? Be patient because there's some type of, you know, you feel like there's a storm, you feel like your emotions are all over the place, but there is help on the way. There's some things that you need to learn at this time, okay? So, um, and this could have to do with, you know, relationships and how you show up when it comes to relationships, okay? Um, this is interesting. I got something a little familiar with, you know, with Aquarius. Um, if you have any Aquarius placements or you're dealing with an aqua, make sure to watch that video also. Okay, they just said Scorpio too. Okay, so, um, anyhow... This has to do with some type of emotional healing you're going through now. So you could be very feeling very moody at this time is what I'm picking up with this energy. But spirit is saying be patient, okay? There's things that you need to learn and it could be about yourself, okay? How you show up in connections. So just keep an open mind. Don't let time rule you, okay? Gemini is what spirit is saying. Don't let time rule you. If you need to take time before you make a move or before you communicate or make a decision, whatever it is, take the time because you're learning right now. You're, you're learning something very valuable is what they're saying, okay? And um, this has to do with emotional healing too. Maybe you, um, you're, you know, way past due for emotional healing, okay? So just be patient is what they're saying. Okay, hold on, guys. I didn't even ask, and those cards popped up. I feel like somebody just really wants to get married. Like, they just want to get married. They want to be settled, is what I'm getting. Whatever energy. This could be you, Gems. This could be the person you're dealing with, okay? Let's see. Oh, yeah. This energy. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. Get two other cards. Cards. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we got the Prince of Cups. This is the Knight of Cups, okay? Um, I feel like whoever this person is um, does want to reach out to the other person, okay? But they're not. There's, there's a lack of communication going on between you two. Um, I'm going to clarify in a minute what, the, what why that is. But I feel like somebody does want to reach out. They want to send a message to someone. Um, okay, they want to charm someone, but there's no communication. It's like they have this romantic gesture, but they're not communicating, Okay. And um, we got the five of wands. So this is conflict. So there is a conflict. Somebody's going through some type of conflict. 
and that's why they're not reaching out to the other person so gem if you're waiting for you know some kind of communication this person is this it's being um hindered let's see why why is the communication being hindered whoa whoa okay Wow, this is like, this is interesting. Let's see. Don't freak out, gems. Okay, so, oh, okay, okay. This is what I'm getting, guys. So whatever hindrance this is, this could be other people, okay, gem? This could be other people surrounding this person or surrounding you that's hindering it. I feel like there's some, something has to end before you both come together. Because this person is um, going through some type of conflict right now, okay? I don't know if this has to do with people or not, but it's about to end, okay? And so what this is telling me is that whatever, you could have been waiting for this person to communicate, to reach out, and you said to yourself, I'm not reaching out to this person, okay? I'm not doing this again. If they want me, they can come and have me. I, I'm. Somebody said that, okay? I love that energy. <laughs> so cute. But um, it's, it's coming to an end, this conflict, this hindrance of whatever is keeping you two from communicating, whatever is keeping you two from... Clear communication is what I want to say. So you could be getting mixed signals from this person. Like they're not being straightforward with you. Like you feel like they're lying to you or they're keeping things from you. They're not giving you the straightforward communication. Okay? They're not giving you this. They haven't been giving it to you. But I feel like it's, it's coming to an end. This hindrance is coming to an end. And then we got the judgment card. Okay? So... I feel like who, who, whatever conflict this person is going through, whatever people that could be surrounding this person that has been hindering the communication even with you, between you two, I should say, this person, I do feel like they want to give this connection another chance, okay? So, like, coming back together. But they have to finish off whatever that is okay there's it's not going to flourish is what spirit is saying until they end whatever situation that is okay yeah they got to cut it out they haven't cut out yet whatever's keeping them okay because this is the queen of swords energy um they need to cut it out this person does have issues with cutting out people or situations of like ending things okay they could be very um you know certain um signs have issues with that okay so they could be um possibly a fixed sign or have fixed sign placements in their chart and those the people who have that it's hard for them to make changes or to end things so they keep letting people or situations like go on past due is what I want to say like you know they'll be in something forever because they have issues with ending things but this person is needs to cut off whatever it is because that's the only way you both will you know come together is what I'm getting so that's the first person's energy let's see the second person how they feel in this connection well wow. Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. So, second person is in Queen of Swords energy, okay? And what I'm getting with this is like they're so they're so logical and they're just very straightforward. Like, okay, we got to do this and this is how we do it, you know? And um I like this I like this energy. Okay, let's, uh, hold on, guys. Give me a second. 
Ooh. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so um, this energy, this is a second person's energy. This is stable. This is somebody who's very supportive and whatnot. So this is what I want to say with this person. I feel like this person was being straightforward with the other person and they said something and all of a sudden something changed and they think, oh, wow, why did I say what I said? No, that it's not... It's working itself out. If this was you, Gem, and you said something to someone and it just kind of caused maybe more destruction is what I want to say. Um, don't feel like you said something wrong. I feel like somebody regrets what they said about something. Um, you being, whoever this person is, is, um, oh, one, one more thing Spirit just said. If you're looking to move your home or something like that or buy a house or whatever there's good news coming for that is what spirit is saying okay i know this is not has to do with romance but they wanted me to say that for whoever that is okay so um you were in this energy and it caused something it could have caused the breakup between you two or somebody stopped talking to you or they're ignoring you for whatever you say don't regret it because the point of whatever you said and however you said it, you know, I'm not saying, Spirit's not saying you said it in a perfect way, but it's causing a change to the dynamic of your connection. And that change is going to bring this, okay? This is basically a of Wands, this new vitality to your connection. So things are working behind the scenes, okay? But... The issue with this connection is what I'm seeing is that it's like one person knows what to do. The other person is having issues with ending another situation to, to focus on this connection, okay? And whoever the second person is, is intuitive, by the way, because we got all the queens here. But the part, the issue this person has, okay, they are intuitive, they're listening to their intuition, and that's how they take action, okay? But the issue with this person is that um, they need to find balance between all of that. So they need to be logical and grounded and intuitive at the same time. So that's why this person is having issues. It doesn't have to be a female, okay? It could be You could be a male with this person's energy, but... You got to have all of that balance to, you know, feel okay. Because sometimes what happens is like, if you're more, you know, intuitive and you're not as logical, then you get, you know, hurt. Or um, if you're more, you know, logical than emotional, then you get hurt. It's like, you got to have a perfect balance with everything. And that's why probably this person feels like, oh no, did I say the wrong thing? Did I make the wrong move? I feel that kind of energy when it has to do this person. But no, it's not that. It's just a balance of everything that you have to find. But I do feel like this person is really passionate and they're looking forward to a new beginning with the other person, okay? But let's see. I'm going to see something real. Sorry, guys, hold on. Okay, so... This is interesting. I feel like the first person... Um, this is... Sorry, guys, give me a second. I, the first person is... I don't know what they're...
Okay, so this other person, what I'm feeling with them is like they kind of lost passion when it has to do with connection. And I do feel like it was because of, you know, the conflict between you two. So I do feel like they are trying to figure out what the next move is, okay? Um, but there is an Empress energy here. So it could be that this person possibly has kids from someone else. This is for a few of you that's getting in the way. It's like they're letting it get in the way that shouldn't, but they are. Um, and they don't know how to end that dynamic between them and their, you know, baby mama or whatever. Baby daddy, it could be too. So um, they're trying to figure out how to start this connection all over. But like I said, guys, um, yeah, they're manifesting something new. Something new. Like both of you want to manifest this new fresh start together, but things are getting in the way. And a lot has to do with this other person. This other person that is not ending this, okay? Whatever's getting in the way. For some of you, it is somebody else that, I mean, they have a, con um, a baby with someone else. But that's not all of you. And the other people, okay. So what Spirit is saying is the other people is that their mom is getting in the way. So their mom or whoever raised them, whoever was a motherly figure, Somebody's getting in the way of this connection. That's for sure. Okay. But like I said, don't blame the person. Okay. Like this, whoever this is, is just having issues ending the dynamics of the connection. Okay. They're finding it hard. It's like, one more card. Yeah. See, they want to get back together. They do. But there's there's not a balance here right now, okay? This person is not healing the way they're supposed to. They're not... Um, and also, this person does have anger towards if they have, like, a, you know... Um, a child, whoever that person is, they have issues with anger and resentment. They're emotional. So this probably could be also for that this person, whoever this is. Okay, remember the emotional healing that has to take place. But yeah, I feel like this person really has to end that situation, Gems, because it's it's hindering you both, you know? Um, and... They need to cut it out. They're having issues with cutting that part of their life out in order for you both to connect, okay? So that has to happen. I mean, it's like you both want to be together is what I'm seeing. I mean, unless somebody's over it. I do feel like somebody pulled back, but they're really working on themselves, which is good. Gratitude. You, f you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. Yeah, somebody thinks someone's being a coward. I just heard that. <laughs> Sorry, I have to laugh. I just It just makes me laugh when somebody uses that word. It's Somebody's being a coward because they're not leaving the situation. Okay. Um forgiveness okay so you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts so yeah somebody is having issues with letting the past go okay gems this could be you or the other person but you gotta let the past go whoever this is they have to live in the present and like I said you have to when you have a connection is what spirit is saying is you gotta let go of things from the past okay not hold on to them. Yeah, they are some part of you, but your new chapter is starting to whoever this is. It's like you can't start your new chapter if you're stuck in the past. Compassion. 
So you demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing the sharing and living love. Living love. Interesting. I thought this was supposed to be giving love, but really you're supposed to be living love. That's beautiful. So be compassionate for whatever, you know, you're going through yourself, Gemini. Have compassion for yourself, okay? So I don't know if you were um, possibly, you know, waiting around for this person, um, but I do feel like the energies are, as some of you are just taking care of yourself, you're moving into your own independence. You're working on you, on what the next steps you are. And I do feel like there's a new beginning because um, somebody is um, transitioning into a new, I don't know, workspace, home space is what I'm getting from this. Um, there's some good news surrounding a home environment for you, okay? So, um, yeah, so somebody needs to end a situation, Gemini. That's the message for today. And um, you, I do feel like you both, um, one person is really working on themselves because they pulled their energy back. Um, Whoever is trying to balance them, their life out right now, okay, pulled their energy back. They're focusing on that. But I know that the other person... Whoever can end the other situation really wants to um, get back together. It's just that there's a hindrance now, okay? So they got to solve that, okay? So, Gem, I hope this has helped you in some way. Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video if you have. And if this doesn't resonate with you, you can always watch your other placements. I wish you all the best, Gems, and I'll see you next time. Bye.